There can't be many other spectacles like this anywhere. North Korea's Ariang performance. It is vast. It's almost impossibly choreographed. And it says so much about this country. The control, the apparent loyalty and the isolation. Because few outside North Korea have ever seen it before. There are no projectors here. That flag is made up of people. This is Pyongyang's May Day Stadium. It seats 150,000 people and it's full. Here to see a celebration of power and patriotism. At times it feels like propaganda in overdrive. It'll be repeated four nights a week for six weeks. Of course, this is what the performance is really all about. Kim Jong-un, he's been sitting here throughout. Watching it all must make him feel incredibly powerful and for the country it's designed to make it look united capable and very confident and that is exactly what the government invited us here to see but consider this away from here and strictly out of view and north korea's prison camps there are said to be double the number of people locked up in those than there are here right now this man and his government deny their existence These are the people we're allowed to see. Everyone we've met, everyone we've spoken to seems genuinely loyal and happy. But then only the loyal can live in the capital and we can't leave it. And we have peace today in our Pyongyang. What about the rest of North Korea of DPRK? Is there peace there? Of course. And happiness? Yes, all the people are happy in our country. Are you sure about that? I'm sure. But among the flowers at this display, rockets. This young soldier told us how great her leaders are. We're a proud nation, she said. We hope to be the most powerful country in the world. It is almost impossible to get under the skin of this place, a country with one of the worst human rights records in the world, but with an almost cult-like loyalty. Mark Stone, Sky News in Pyongyang, North Korea.